Hey everybody, this is Christopher Small, The Unconventional Attorney. Today, I wanna to talk about how to make Google Ads work. Before I get to that, though, I wanna remind you, if you are not subscribed to the world's greatest law firm owner newsletter of all time, you need to go to unconventionalnewsletter.com, sign up. Every Sunday, I send you some goodness. There's things that I don't talk about here, uh, I don't talk about anywhere. Um, but if you are, if you are, um, if you're a law firm owner, if you're a business owner, and you want the goods, then um, unconventionalnewsletter.com. All right. So today, what I wanted to do was, um, I wanted to answer a question that was posed in the group yesterday. I said I was going to make a video yesterday, but I didn't get to it today till today. So here we go. Um, this is from Francisco. By the way, if you guys ever have questions, and you are not, and you are in the unconventional attorney Facebook group. I'm gonna ask because you're likely to either get a recording like this, um, you're likely to get a, a response from me, and there's like a thousand other law firm owners in this group, and they would love to talk to you as well. Okay, so go there, and if you're not in the group, go to the group. Uh, Francisco says, okay, curious if any of you super marketers out there have an idea for me. We're getting hundreds of people to click our Google Ads daily for probate services in Arizona. We've long held to the belief that there should be only one call to action on these pages: call the law firm. Is there any secondary uh, um, parentheses transitional call to action anyone has used on Google AdWords to capture more leads or inquiries? Something not quite so daunting as call a law firm. All right, so the, the, the truth is, the answer to this question is, is more complicated than the question that was actually asked because there are many different things that could be going on my, my presumption is that they're getting a lot of clicks, they're paying for a lot of clicks, but they're not getting the calls that they want um, to be booked. Okay, so they're looking for ways to get, um, to convert more of these clicks um, into calls or into potential client meetings. So I would look at the entire system when I was reviewing this before I just jumped to the conclusion that it was the, um, it was the call to action that's broken. Here's why. First of all, that's a wonderful call to action. It's a call to action that many, many people use, and it's amazing. It works very well. Uh, I'll tell you, I'll give you an idea for a different call to action to, to, to provide uh, here in a second. That call to action, by the way, is is um, is less good because you're going to make people do. You're going to make people probably take two different courses of action. If they were calling and you were answering the phone as the attorney, I would highly um, um, not recommend that. If you are calling and then there's like a somebody answering the phone and they're setting another time to call back, I would also not recommend that, but we'll get to that in one second. By the way, this is going to be the super, super fast version of this. Um, I talk about this in the sanctuary all the time. Um, I can talk about it more here if you have other questions, but we're going to do this the quick way. Number one that I would look at for you, if you're getting many, many, many clicks and you're not getting a lot of click, a lot of uh, bookings, I would look at your keyword strategy for your ads. Okay. Getting a lot of clicks sounds great, but if somebody's looking for a free probate attorney, if somebody's looking for what's a probate, if somebody's looking for um, how you know things like that, you could be getting clicks, but they're from people that don't want to hire you. So what happens is they click, then they get to the landing page, and they're like, "Well, this isn't what I wanted," so they leave because um, you're not free, you know, and you're not cheap or whatever. So I would look at that. I would also make sure that all of your clicks are coming from your local area. Sometimes if you set the parameters wrong, you can get clicks from all over the place. And when people then see you're in Arizona, then they, they don't they don't click, right? They don't book because they're like, oh, you can't help me or whatever. Okay. The other thing to consider too is by the way, if you unless you're if you're servicing the entire state, I would find some way to really make sure that you talk about that on your landing page. And, I, and I, full disclosure, I have not seen your landing page. You didn't share that, so I don't know what that looks like or whether that's good or bad. But that's the next place that I would go. So before I got to the call to action, I would look at the landing page itself. I would be concerned that when people are clicking through, there's some dissonance between the, the, the text on the ad, what the ad is promising, and then what the landing page is delivering. So I would make sure that those two things are aligned, that you're talking about the same thing, that the message that you're providing in the ad is matched with the landing page. I would also make sure that whatever you want them to do, it's very, very, very simple to do. 
I would have, if you're having people call, I would make sure that the button is click to call. So if somebody's working on a, on a phone, they can just literally click the button and it will call automatically, okay? Um, I would make sure that that is the only thing that they could do that's very clear what they're supposed to do next, that you probably explain what's gonna happen when they call, that you make it as simple as possible, and that you really provide only a limited amount of information on that page. Whatever they need to do, a few testimonials, and that's it, okay? Now, here's where it comes, when it comes to, um, then, by the way, I would be checking on something else, and that is, what's your call procedure like? You know, if somebody calls, is somebody answering the phone every time? Are they answering it well? Like, are, are people getting turned off at that point? Okay, because that could also be another sort of barrier to entry for you. The actual call to action that I would use, the one that I do use for my probate law firm, is not a click to call, is not a call us, it is a set up a time to talk to us. Okay, here's why. Um, and you asked about this. Is there something that's less um, scary than having to call an attorney? And there is, it is, booking a time to talk with us, okay? We do phone calls only right now because of coronavirus. We're really probably gonna do only phone calls in the future, but the way it works is, um, they click a, a button, our calendar pops up, and then they um, they pick a date that works for them, they pick a time that works for them, they answer some questions, and it's all good, okay? Here's another thing that happens too, by the way, that you guys don't may not think about, which may help, is once they call, or once they click on a, once they click through to my page, they get pixeled, and they start to see um, videos on Facebook, they start to see things kind of all over the place, and I would highly encourage you to do that as well. Because what may also happen is, maybe they have to click away for some reason, maybe they're in a hurry, maybe they're just not ready to take action, and now that you've got them sort of in your world, you might as well continue to give them helpful content um, to sort of maybe push them over the edge, to actually to actually call you, to actually use you, or whatever. So I would create some probate videos just like this, and then I would show them to people, honestly. Okay, um, that's it. That's all I got for this. Okay, like I said, there's more depth to this. There's more that you can do. Those are the, I would start there first though. My guess is one of those things is your problem. Either your, your keyword selection is too broad and you're getting a bunch of terrible people clicking on your site, um, um, or your landing page is not that great, or your call to action is not that great, in it, or all of them. It could be, okay? So who knows? But the best you can do is experiment, make a guess, change something, see if it works. Change it again, see if it works. Keep iterating, keep testing, keep trying, keep coming with ideas, and you'll just get closer and closer and closer to that promised land of you know steady clients at a good price um, that are ready to hire you. Okay, that's it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button. I see that some of you already had. Have if you uh, if you have a question or comment, please leave it. If you know someone needs to hear this, please share it with them. And if you are not subscribed to the world's greatest law firm owner newsletter of all time. You can get access to that by going to unconventionalnewsletter.com. Um, that's it, unconventionalnewsletter.com. Super simple. It's free. It's easy. It's amazing. All right? Um, that is it, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you, and I will talk to you again soon. See ya.